All right, now before we get started, there's just a bit of uh, class business to take care of. Your write-ups on an inconvenient truth are due next Wednesday at the start of class. So please don't try and bring this in uh, towards the end of class, guys. You two, saving the world yet again? As a matter of fact, we were. I do not doubt you, pretty lady. Now, if only everyone else were like this lovely couple, things would get done. But I doubt any of you are. Now, today we have a special speaker here to talk to us about local land entanglement and preservation issues. He is the president of Gaviota Lives. His name is Steve Jasper. You get stopped on the side of the road due to a flat tire. And you get out of the car and you hear birds chirping, frogs singing. And off in the distance you can hear the waves crashing into the shore and you smell the salt air burning in your nose and you become aware of the possibility of the sublime and you realize you are home. The Gaviota Coast is an irreplaceable environment. It is the only Mediterranean-style coast on the surface of America, and it is one of only five on the surface of the entire planet. It has the highest density of endangered species in America. It is one of the most biodiverse environments we can imagine, and the potential loss of that biodiversity is something that should be of concern to each and every one of you. Because there is a snake that is trying to despoil this pure, beautiful Eden. And that snake is residential development. But we shall not and cannot eat that apple. Now, our enemies say, hey, what's the big deal about species biodiversity? I mean, aren't there enough species? <laughs> they don't even know. They don't even know that the entire health of the biosphere depends on species diversity. Without species diversity, we could be looking at all kinds of anarchy and chaos that can affect us in God knows what way. I'd like to show a little bit of animation that will help me illustrate this point. So let's just, let's just get this started here. Oh, yeah! All right! Yeah, I love that! Oh, it's so great! I think just makes you think. People ask me all the time, Steve, why do you care so much about conservation? Why do you care so much about the planet, Steve? And I tell them about the time when I was about eight years old. I was driving up the coast. My mom, going to see my grandma in Tascadero. Pulled over to the side of the room. Mom had a slug of whiskey. I was uh, kind of left to my own devices for a little bit, and I wandered out into the water, and I started, started playing with the waves, feeling the rhythm of the water. And I started reaching for the little fish so I could take them with me. They could be my friends. And I was playing in the waves, but... This is the important part. It was really the waves, 
that were playing with me. Well, later on, my foster parents told me that I had been pulled out away from the shore by a riptide. And ever since then, it's been my job to dig deep. To dig deep. All up and down the coast of California. I dug deep. And you know what I found? I found a lot of sand crabs. But besides that, I discovered, I learned about the beauty and the majesty of Mother Nature. Falling asleep? Don't you realize what's going on? Or have they gotten to you too? Steve Jasper, everyone. How dare you?